Heck yeah. Desperate times. Janitor. Hey, Janitor, I want to ask you some questions. And that's our apartment. We will go into this slow no security door. Oh. She's going to be like, what are you doing in here? Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. Uh, just investigating the area. <laughs> I'm just looking for something to steal. <laughs> Stay out of my way. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig, Holden. Holden, who's that? Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. What do you mean? I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. You can trust me. Maybe I can help. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why mm. I'm hiding out here. Is there anything I can do to help? I I need all the experience I can get, guys. I, just want I to doubt do all it. This. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. Maybe I could speak to Holden for you. You could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. All right, let's ask I you some help questions you there. now. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Mm. Goodbye right. and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. Yep, that's in my journal. Maybe... We'll just keep checking places out. Oh, gosh. Ah, actually, let's see what she says. She's freaking out. Alright, let's go outside. Cool. Terrace. Alright, let's just start exploring. Oh, something seems to be boiling Karth. Maybe I should speak to him? Speak to Karth. Yes, what's on your mind? I'd like to know some more about you, Karth. Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. So more or sure of the worse. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. Talking like it's your fault, like you failed somehow. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. You mean the people of your home world? Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense out right. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Poor Garth. Oh, that must be our escape pod right there. It is. Salvage droids. Man, this thing's like really sturdy platform for that thing to have not have made any type of impact. Sith soldiers over there. Uh, Kelva shot. 
Let's talk to you. Hello her. there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Yeah, why not? Just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Okay, we got 93 credits. Yeah, her stuff is... Slightly more priced. Actually, that's the same thing as the last guy's. Still don't have enough to buy anything. I'll come back later. What does that say? Oh, Sith Guard. Let's just see what he says. I'm here on official Sith business. Touchy fellow. Cantina entrance. Don't you just love watching the Fazak players? All that strategy. All those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Whoa. All right, sweetheart. What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> hmm. Let's do that. Questions? <laughs> I don't come here to answer questions. If you want to play Pazak, then let's play. If not, then quit crowding my gambling table. My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few Must hands. come from planet Russia. Uh... Yeah. If you I ever wish to test right yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus, <laughs> you know where to find me. Sure. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. 50 credits. Um, let's do the questions. Of course, of course. My mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. That's why I'm giving up the gambler's life. But I think I can still manage to answer some simple questions. Uh, let's ask about Bastila. Do you know anything about the Republic escape pods that crashed down in the Undercity? I spend my days here in the cantina, sipping ale and chatting with the folks who want to buy. I don't have much use or care what goes on outside these walls. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, of course. Who are you? My name's Garuk. I used to be a card shark. One of the best Pazak players in the Outer Rim. But that was before I retired from the gambling life. Giving up gambling, why? Don't get me wrong. The game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the outer rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But that was long ago, and things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. Fifty credits get you my old Pazak deck and a free lesson. A great offer if you can afford it. Um, you know, we will come back to that. Of course, of course. 
No sense in a youngster like you wasting your days away with an old man in a dingy bar. But if you ever want to chat, you know where to find me. Sounds like a plan. What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get Whoa. away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. You wouldn't be proper for a man of my standing. Dang. He's got an ego problem. Can I talk to her? Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. Are you from the military base? You don't look like one of the Sith. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith Occupation Force. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taras can't stand us Sith. We can make this job pretty lonely. Persuade. You're just uh, doing your job, right? I don't hold that against you. Say the sympathetic best friend act. I'm not buying it. Dang. But I don't want to fill out a bunch of paperwork on my day off, so let's just pretend this conversation never happened. Now move along. Fail. Uh, what can I expect to really find out from a Sith woman? Carth, put your guns away. We're here to... Actually, I think I can change, yeah. Uh, do that, and we'll do that. He's like, my guns, I gotta punch people now. Yes? Why do I think I was even gonna be able to find anything out about Basila from that Sith officer? She's the enemy. Now let's ask this girl something. Isn't this band great? They can't leave Terrace because of the. Have you gone into the music room in the back? Yeah, I don't care. About it. The band. Those dancing Twi'leks are something else, I'm telling you now. I wish the off duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. I mean, scouring the intercity looking for the Republic escape pods. I mean, Rico sewers. It's a good thing a few of the Sith come in here to relax when they're off duty. It should keep them from closing this camp down. You aren't from Terrace, are you? Do yourself a favor and stay away from the Teresian Ale. It packs more kick than most hot. Have you gone into the music room in the back? Yeah, I don't care much for the band. Look at Nico sitting over there with his pizzazz dick. I used to play it. It's a good thing. Alright, this is kind of all this side rumble. Alright. No Jurgen. hard feelings, my good man. But I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I guess you've experienced many lonely evenings. Something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. Mm. Young Ginda. Sorry, but I'm not here looking for conversation. I just came to get a drink, listen to some music, and try to relax before my next shift at the military base. From the military base? You don't look like one of the Sith. I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, anyone in uniform is banned from entering the cantina. The officers don't like it when we show up here off duty. Don't like us fraternizing with the locals, I guess. But it gets pretty stale hanging out around the base all the time. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a soldier in their fleet is just a job, you know? Job with long hours and low pay, I might add. So why do you do it? When I signed up, I was promised adventure and excitement in exotic locales. Instead, I end up stationed at a military base on some backwater planet on the fringes of the galaxy. If I could just find some other way to earn some credits, I could give up this lousy job. Retire my uniform, so to speak. The senior officers don't really like it when we start answering questions, you know? They don't want us fraternizing with the locals. Just another perk of the job. No offense, but I probably shouldn't be talking to you anymore. I'm liable to say something that might get me in trouble. 
Mm. Well, at least we weren't able to piss him off. At least we didn't piss him off. The band. Okay, well then you stopped. It's funny. Alright, I'll take that as a get out of my face. To our citizen, they're just gonna say a bunch of random stuff. Uh, I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Girl on fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Girl on Two Fingers. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever persistent Dead Eye Duncan. And to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Yes. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Girl on Two Fingers. <laughs> Duels. What do you think, Karth? Twitch. Gurlund, two fingers. Oh. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring? Or did you just come to watch? Duel ring? What are you talking about? I want to step into the ring. I want to ask you some questions. I don't have time to answer your questions. I need to stay focused for my next match. Maybe the Azure can help you out. He's the, the hut over there in the corner. He arranges all the duels. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're dead eye Duncan. He's all beat up. Marl. Hello there, off world. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marl. I'm one of the duelists here at the Cantina. I was wondering when you'd get around to talking to me. Uh, do I know you? No, we've never met. It's just that most people who come here to watch the duels are bored nobles, looking for a little excitement in their drab lives. But you're different. You look like you know a thing or two about combat. I'm guessing you didn't come here to sit on the sidelines and watch a duel. Are you looking for a match? Uh, let's see here. Tell me more about these duels. Could use the duels the themselves are simple enough. Two combatants armed with stun pistols into the ring. One walks out a winner. The other is carried out, out unconscious on a stretcher. If you're interested in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. He's that hut over in the corner. He'll make all the arrangements. My area of expertise is pretty much limited to the duel ring and the other combatants here at the cantina but I'll try to answer any questions you might have awesome he's gonna be cooperative Let's see here do you know anything about the crashed Republic escape pods only what I heard from the news reports which are all censored by the Sith some pods crashed into the undercity anyone caught harboring survivors will be arrested and executed really I, I don't think it's any of my business the Sith want to call them rulers of terrorists it's fine by me just so long as they don't shut the duel ring down uh, let's see here let's get some more info on terrorists. I can only tell you what is recorded in the basic visitor guides 
The upper city is a beautiful destination where intergalactic travelers can find all their basic needs. If you're looking for excitement, the dual rings here are your best bet. Stay out of the lower city. It's nothing but a gang-ridden slum. Is there anything else you want to know? Uh, let's see here. Let's ask you about the duelists. You've come to the right man. I've been dueling here for nearly 20 years, and I remember every duelist who's been through this cantina. Of course, there are only five of us left now. Duncan, Gerlon, Ice, Twitch, and me. Bendak Starkiller comes in once in a while, but he's retired now. <laughs> Dude, Duncan, we'll just go down the list. Duncan, worst duelist ever. His nickname is Deadeye because he fights like he's blind. I wouldn't worry about him. Gerlon used to be pretty good before the accident. His blaster overheated during a match and exploded. One in a million occurrence. Paralyzed three fingers on his right hand. They call him Gerlon Two Fingers now. He hasn't been the same since the accident. But he's still out here trying to earn a living. That's why I never fight with blasters. Hmm. Man, I wish that this... Yep, and uh, so now you, you're you getting a sense of kind of the glitchiness of... For some reason this game just... It's glitchy on Xbox 360. It plays way better on Xbox. I mean, there's no problems on Xbox. Duncan, Weird. worst duelist ever. His nickname is Deadeye because he fights like he's blind. Yeah, I already asked you this question. Alright, Ice. Ice? Well, yeah, she's not much for personality, but she's a hell of a fighter. Confident, steady, popular with the crowd, too. If you go up against her, you know you're in for a tough match. Uh, do Twitch. Twitch? I th think that Rodian is completely crazy, but he's very, very, very good despite his insanity. Or maybe because of it. Even I, I can't beat him. Uh, what about yourself? Me? Well, I've seen my share of battles. My best years are gone. But I can still hold my own against anyone in here. Except maybe Twitch. Hmm. Except maybe Twitch, huh? Ooh, tell me about Bendak Starkiller. What can I say? Bendak was a legend. Never lost a match hit his entire career. But he was bloodthirsty as an Iridorian battle rager. Never liked having to face the same opponent and twice. Got so he wouldn't battle anyone unless it was a death match. When they made death matches illegal, he went into retirement. He still hangs around here sometimes. Bendax, the best there ever was. Plain and simple. Even for now, I bet that anyone who steps into the ring with, with him wouldn't make it out alive. Mm hmm. I'll ask you something else. My area of expertise is pretty much. Uh. Some general information. Tell me about these duels. The duels themselves. Yeah. Alright, well, if we you're already interested asked in setting up a match. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later.